I am on a mission. And my mission is to change the way that menopause is perceived and treated. Okay, so basically what we then designed, if you will, or what they designed was Provera, right, to decrease the risk of uterine cancer in cycled women, but they felt miserable on it. So someone came up with the, with the idea that we will give low doses of Provera every single day with Premarin, okay, so that women aren't so symptomatic on that Provera part of the cycle, okay. <laughs> And they also kind of did studies to say, you know, if we give 10 milligrams, you know, the whole month, or we give 5 milligrams the whole month, or we give 2.5 milligrams the whole month, what's the level we can get away with? What's the lowest dosage we can get away with that decreases the risk of uterine cancer? Okay. So I'm kind of thinking, wow, this is interesting. Our whole focus was on decreasing the risk of uterine cancer, right, in women. Had nothing to do with hormone health. It had nothing to do with what was going to happen to women in the future if they took this medication. It was like, what works right now to decrease the risk of uterine cancer? As an endocrinologist, I treat the whole body. The gynecologist's job is to treat your uterus, okay? And this is how this was designed, okay? I'm going to give you a hormone drug that helps your symptoms but doesn't increase your risk for uterine cancer, okay? Well, gee, you know what? I wouldn't be up here complaining about it if that worked, to be honest with you, okay? But what happened next? Breast cancer, right? Okay. Did anybody ever stop to think, if you took an estrogen and you blocked it daily with a progestogen, what would happen to women's health?